Hey, OKM okay, students, Ben Asman here, and I know. It's weird. There's no hat. I don't know how I can function. Nonetheless, today we're doing basic hydrolysis of a nitrile. Let's get to it. Base hydrolysis of a nitrile. Today is a relatively simple experiment, but it has a long waiting time. A nitrile is a functional group containing a C N triple bond. By exposing it to an excess of base, we're going to turn it into a carboxylic acid. It does go through an intermediate, which is an amide. We say intermediate and not transition state because it is completely isolated. Normally we would be doing that in this experiment, but to save time, we're going to drop that part of the experiment. Now when you're thinking of the mechanism, it's important to remember that this is not the acid hydrolysis, but the base hydrolysis. So there's never going to be an H+, only minuses throughout the whole mechanism. When you're figuring out the mechanism, if you need a hydrogen, you have to get it from water. The other hint I'll give you for the mechanism is that the hydroxides will always be attacking the carbon, not the nitrogen. And then there'll be a lot of shuffling around of hydrogens and electrons until you get the final products. When you're weighing out the benzyl nitrile, do it directly into the round bottle. If you use a weight cup for a stand, it'll make your life a little easier. Also, note the smell of the benzyl nitrile. I know I told you not to smell anything, and that still stands, but you can't avoid smelling this. It's kind of distinct. I know it's kind of unusual to use weight when we're using a liquid. Nonetheless, we want the extra precision that the scale gives us. Just add it in a drop at a time to make sure it's as precise as you can be. Next up is the sodium hydroxide. Remember if you get any of this on your fingers. When you go to wash your hands, it'll feel slippery. Just wash your hands until they feel clean again. If your reflux condenser still has the cap and o-ring from last week, make sure you take that off. For today's experiment, you're going to need to grease the edge of your reflex condenser. You only need a little dab, a few points around the edge, and then just turn it around inside your round bottle. Get the stir bar spinning nice and fast, and get that temperature up there. Around 100 degrees should do it. About 20 minutes into that hour-long wait, wet a piece of pH paper and bring it over the top of the reflex condenser. If it turns blue, basic, red, acidic. After the hour, let it cool. If you see crystallization, that means you got some of the intermediate. Add more sodium hydroxide and give it another 20 minutes. The crystallization is not the reason why we let this cool. If you want to see the reason, I made another video with a demonstration. I'll put a link in the description below. Next up is the extraction of methane. Rinse out the round bottom a few times. Transfer everything into the separatory funnel and shake it all up. Don't forget to let the gas escape. Collect the dichloromethane. Rinse the aqueous with more dichloromethane. Shake it up. Collect the dichloromethane again. Now collect the aqueous phase. That's the one you're going to want to keep. Nonetheless, there's always a little bit of dichloromethane left behind. That makes it all opaque. Stick that in a sand bath to boil it off. Should come off clear. Next step is acidification. Add a little bit of the hydrochloric acid at a time, stirring each time, until eventually the precipitation persists. If you ended up adding double or triple the amount of hydrochloric acid, and you still don't see any effect, make sure you come and talk to me. Once the precipitation persists, move on to the vacuum filtration. Don't forget your filter paper. Also, it helps when you connect it to the vacuum, not the pressurized air. The filtration goes very well, but it's important to remember not to use ethanol. I know it says so in the instruction, but if you try it, you're going to lose all your product. Instead, just rinse the beaker and the butaner funnel with a little bit of cold DI water. That way you get a nice white powder. So bag it, tag it, because you're done. Mm -hmm. 